Welcome back to our local four studio. We're joined now with Laura Studi, the executive director of the YWCA of Adams County. And Laura, it's 4th of July time, which for you means kind of a kids festival slash parade. Fill us in on what's taking place here on the 4th. Yeah, so on the 4th of July, there's not a lot of activities for little kids. So if your kids can't stay up till 10 o'clock for fireworks at night, right. uh, we have something in the middle of the day. So we have a children's parade. It goes right around Fisher Fountain. So kids can decorate their bikes, their strollers, their scooters. Um, parents can push babies in it. Um, but it's really a fun activity. We do have free games and activities, so you can get prizes for that. We have food for sale if people want to come out and have lunch. And then there's also raffle tickets for purchase. So um, a few of the fun items we have for raffle tickets this year are the um, Kansas City Royals tickets as well as Henry Dorley Zoo. So it's a lot of fun. It's a little fundraiser, but it's also just um, great for little kids. As you know, um, right. I have a six-year-old. You have That's a little right. one, too. So um, <laughs> there's not a lot to keep them entertained during the day. So. That's right. Well, and like you said, it is a kids' parade, but it's not to be mistaken with the full-scale parade down the street. Can you talk about what that parade looks like and how fun it is? Yeah, there's no cars or anything big. It's just little kids. So um, they go around the fountain and the Hastings High School drum line actually starts it. Oh, wow. So we have the beat to go to and the kids go <laughs> around the fountain a couple times if they want to. Um, but it's a lot of fun because it's all about them. So everybody gathers around and watches the kids and the smiles on their faces are always fun to see. An age range too, like you said, I have a three-year-old, you have a six-year-old, but really it's kind of for kids almost of all ages in that little group. So yeah, not so many teenagers, no. but really anything younger <laughs> than that. So babies are being pushed in strollers and wagons, right. um, little red wagons especially, um, all the way up to scooters and bicycles. So, all right. Yeah. Well, I love it. And how can people go or where do they need to go to learn more info if they have any other questions? We do have information on our Facebook page as well as um, the, the website, um, but festivities start at 1030 and then the parade itself is at 12. So as okay. long as you're there before 12 o'clock, then you won't miss it out. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Laura.